This video will show you how a regular editing teacher can upload files and folders to a Moodle 2 course and share them with colleagues. Hopefully we'll be able to touch upon some Moodle 2 file handling issues along the way and answer the following questions. How do I upload just one file like a Word document? How can I upload and share a folder of files? How can I share my files with another teacher on the same course? Can I use my files in different courses without having to upload them again? I'm used to the course files of the old Moodle. Can I get that back again? With the help of our two ordinary teachers, Brigitte and Johnny, we're going to go into a Moodle 2 course and look at the absolute basics of uploading files. Remember, this isn't about admin settings. This is just about what normal editing teachers will see when they're working in a course using Moodle 2. Let's follow Brigitte as she enters her French course to upload a vocabulary sheet. She can turn on the editing from the button top right or the link in the course settings. And then to upload and display her vocabulary sheet, she needs to select Add a resource and then File in the section where she wants to display it. She can choose a name and, if required, a description. And then the place where she goes to upload this sheet is a button called Add. If you're used to the old Moodle, this is where it starts to look quite different. It takes you to somewhere called the File Picker. This looks different according to what your Moodle admin has set up. You're likely to have the first three though. Server Files is where you'll see the other files you've uploaded to courses that you're in charge of on the Moodle. And Recent Files are the ones that you've only recently put on. There's nothing there because Brigitte's not put anything up yet. So if she clicks upload a file and then browses, that takes her in the conventional way to her computer where she can upload her vocabulary sheet. You can see also that there's the option to name the author and to choose a license for this. Then if she clicks upload this file, it's then available. And you can see that there's a tiny icon to the right of it and if Brigitte clicks it, she has some other options there. For instance, she could rename it if she wanted to. Then all she needs to do is to scroll down and save and return to course. There are other options available, but in the first instance, as a beginner, all she wants to do is to put that vocabulary list on her Moodle course page. So it's quite safe to ignore all of the rest of them. Save and return to course, and as a student, then they would see the icon, this is a Word document, they click on Vocabulaire and there they're able to open the worksheet. There are two ways Brigitte can display a folder of files. The first way involves zipping or compressing the folder offline and uploading that compressed or zipped folder to Moodle. To do this, she selects Add a resource and this time Folder and then again chooses a name, this is going to be a folder of vocabulary sheets, and if required, a description. Again now she scrolls down to the Add button and clicks on it and we get back to the File Picker. But before she selects Upload a File, let's have a look at those other two links we saw before and see how they've changed. Recent Files and Server Files. Server Files is now showing that in the French course in the school category there's a link to her vocabulary sheet and recent files shows that sheet that she just uploaded. If we click upload a file and then browse Brigitte can then upload her zipped folder choosing an author and a license if necessary and there it appears. Now it's not much use zipped so if she clicks the icon to the right there is the option to unzip it so it can be displayed for the students it then reappears unzipped. So the zip folder isn't much use. So now, again, if she clicks on the icon to the right of the zip folder, she can delete that one so she only has the one that she wants. And obviously you're given a message just to make doubly sure that you know what you're doing. Scrolling down and saving and return to course, a student sees a lovely yellow suitcase. If they click on the link, they're taken inside the contents of that folder as a list of vocabulary worksheets. 
The second way is to create a folder directly inside Moodle. Going to add a resource folder and then giving it a new name, this time Brigitte is going to create an empty folder for PowerPoints of the months of the year. And then she's going to add files when they're ready. So instead of clicking add, she clicks create folder and makes the name of the folder an empty folder directly inside Moodle. When she clicks OK, an empty folder appears and if she clicks inside it, she can then use the Add button, as we did previously, to upload different files into that folder. So she's going to start with her months of the year PowerPoints. And she can add one in the usual way, and then click Add again, and add a second one, and so on and so forth. So far, Brigitte's done all the work on her own in this course. Let's have Johnny contribute by adding a file to one of her folders. If he clicks on the folder of the months of the year PowerPoints, then he can see the one she's already uploaded. If he clicks the Edit button, that takes him into the PowerPoint folder and then clicking inside it, he can then use the Add button in the normal way that we've seen to upload another PowerPoint or another file in alongside the ones that Brigitte has already added. There we now have three and Johnny has contributed and added to that folder along with Brigitte. In Moodle 2 you can share files between courses where you're a teacher in without needing to re-upload them. Johnny has a brand new empty French advanced course He's turning on the editing and he's going to go to add a resource file and borrow from the French course he shares with Brigitte one of her vocabulary sheets. So he selects name and description as he would normally. And then he scrolls down and clicks on the add button to get to the file picker. But instead of going to upload a file, if he clicks on school, in the server files, that's the name of the category where his advanced French course is and the French course he shares with Brigitte. If he keeps clicking inside the French course, then he will get nested inside folders to the folder that contains the worksheets, the vocabulary sheets that Brigitte uploaded, and he can select one of those to bring it into his own course. Some teachers who are used to the old ways of Moodle 1.9 like to organize their resources in folders out of the view of students in the course files area until they were ready to display them. There are no course files in Moodle 2 but if you find this way of working reassuring here are two methods in Moodle 2 to get round that. Both these methods need to be switched on by your Moodle administrator before you as a teacher can use them. If we look at Johnny's profile on the right, there's a link, My Private Files, which takes him to a personal area where he can create a folder and add resources to it in the normal way and then use those resources in any courses where he's a teacher. So if we follow him to the file picker now and he clicks on Add, then, rather than going to the Upload a File link, if Johnny clicks the Private Files link, it takes him to that folder he made before and he can use in his course that particular resource. The only problem with Johnny's private files is that only Johnny can see them. Brigitte, on the other hand, has a method which will enable her to share with her colleagues. She goes to a new course she has, Animal Care, and in this course, Admin has set a link legacy course files. This takes her to a place that looks similar to the private files where she could create a folder, she's going to add a resource but the difference is that these will be visible by other teachers on her course. Now we can check this by having a look at Johnny now and he's going to add a file and when he scrolls down to press the add button to get to the file picker, a 
as well as having the link to his private files you see there he could click on that and he could upload the file he uploaded before he's got a link to legacy course files and there he can see the file that Brigitte just uploaded and he could use that one if he so wished well that sounds rather good actually it isn't this is what it says in the documentation on Moodle.org if you use this area to store course files you can expose yourself to a number of privacy and security issues as well as experiencing missing files in backups course imports and any time content is shared or reused it's therefore recommended that you don't use this unless you really know what you're doing and finally uploading files in Moodle 2 isn't just about using the file picker to upload a file from your computer or even finding them in the server files or your private files look here you could get a file that you have from your Google Docs account or from your Dropbox account or from Flickr or from many other places which your Moodle administrator might have set up for you as a teacher using Moodle 2 there are far more ways that you can upload files and folders